Hey, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. Just going to do a quick video here showing some great ES futures trades um, this afternoon for shorting the ES uh, this morning, 9.30 open, which is over here. We had a push up, found resistance. I do have uh, the levels turned on. Uh, I'm going to turn on the current levels, which is the 27th. Uh, and I've, you know, got uh, these blue lines here are, are the cyan lines that are bold, are deeper uh, pockets in volume profile that I've done on a five minute chart and it goes along with the video for those that use these trading levels um, for day trading against uh, low volume nodes and high volume nodes for market or volume profile. Anyway, we've got, we had the push up. We did find resistance at this low volume node that I had in the <clears throat> levels here we pulled back we did a lot of chopping around you know this 11 to 11 30 gets into the european close and i, I usually by 11 o'clock i'm not doing really much i'm kind of waiting till the uh, afternoon session to see what's going to happen uh, if you had taken this short trade here uh, you would have put your stop one tick above this high and you would not have gotten stopped out on this one because it ticked uh, to the same uh, 283375 high here so you would have missed getting stopped on this short signal by a tick if you happen to trade during the uh, European session but these three signals here were absolutely beautiful uh, we're still continuing down actually um, I took my trade off here at uh, 2816 level um, I you know obviously I got out a little bit early uh, but I'd rather book a little profit than have uh, you know a big in your face short covering rally back to the cloud sometimes I've seen that today in fact looks like um, it may be headed you know wants to head down to 2800 we'll see w where we end up today but I've talked about over the weekend video that the indexes look somewhat weak and I look for continuation to the downside and have given some indications with SPY IWM and some of the other indexes um, you know what I'm looking at in any event all three of these trades, any one of them that you would have taken, uh, would have been at least 200% times risk, uh, if not more, uh, if you would have stayed stayed in any one of them. Um, obviously, the first one was solid. Uh, the second one just passed 200% times risk. It's probably around 350% times risk down here at the 2808 level, uh, where, where we just pushed down to. And you can see kind of how these levels... Uh, you know these levels in the background the, the darker blue were deeper um, low volume nodes and volume profile and you can see we've kind of we back test to it to it we pull back down we find support we bounce up come back down we back test it again push away we back test it again you know push away and so on and you can see that this node gets a lot of action as a lot of these low volume nodes tend to get um, you know, and in, in, in for those that use them. Uh, the one ATR is coming down here around 2803. Uh, we have a 2805.75 low volume node and a one year chart, which is where we actually bottom ticked last week as the low, and it looks like we're headed down to test that now uh, here today. So I think that's certainly the next level I'm looking to see tested was the low of last week, the 2805.75, and I think 2800 is certainly in the cards uh, coming into uh, really just the first day of the week right after the long weekend we have this is just Tuesday uh, the volume for the day isn't uh, I would say abnormally high might get some you know obviously more volume going into the close but I wouldn't say that this was an abnormally high volume day uh, at least it wasn't about 15 minutes ago when I checked it uh, we'll see how it goes into the close on the stochastics, we do have the false breakout bar at the bottom. So if we get a bounce up, it may be another shortable opportunity. So you know we may run out of time here during uh, at the end of the session, but if we do end up getting a bounce back to the cloud, it may be a shortable event if we get another black box breakout signal uh, going here to the close of the day. Anyway, I just wanted to close with uh, a good trading Tuesday for those that were uh, looking on the short side as I was based on the videos and other stuff I was looking at. And I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your trading week. Take care. Bye-bye.